For this week's Makeover Monday, I'm going to show you how to create radar charts based on months. The inspira inspiration for this came from this week's Makeover Monday. Ed Hawkins had created this fantastic visualization that shows the spiraling global temperatures from 1850 to 2016. And uh, basically you can see the radar chart goes around from January all the way around to December. And each line represents a different year. And the, the difference from the center represents the, um, the, the temperature difference from the mean from 1961 to 1990. So I did a quick search. I'd never built a radar chart before. So I went ahead and did a quick Google search and found this great blog post by Jonathan Trajkovich. In this, he talks about how to create a, um, a radar chart, but his is based off of uh, different dimension members. So whereas mine needs to be based off of months. So this is a great starting point, and I'm going to show you how I built it. First, I need to go ahead and connect to some data. In this case, it's just a simple text file. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on the sheet. Notice when I bring the year in, you'll see it's, it's actually not formatted quite the way that I would like in order to, to be a date field. So I'm going to fix that by creating a calculated field. I'm just going to call it date. And Tableau has a great make date function. So this is going to just simply be the integer of the left year and the first four characters. And then I need to do the month, which is going to be the integer of the right uh, of the year, two characters. And I believe that's all the right. And then the last thing I want to do is I need to just pass it a one. So in other words, I'm just going to default them all to the first. So that looks like it's right. I hit OK. And the easiest way to check this is to just drag it out and make sure that my quarters, my months, and my days all match up. OK, that looks pretty good. All right. So from here, what I want to do is I need to build my X and my Y. So if I go back over to Jonathan's post, what you'll see is these two sections for, um, uh, for creating those calculations. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. And now what I want to do is I want to create a new calculated field, and I'll just call this my X, and I'm going to paste in Jonathan's information. So for me, I'm going to want to do the month of the date. And this is going to, or actually, why don't I just do, I'll make it a little bit clearer, do the date part. Uh, the date part I want to return is the month, and the date is the date field, and that's pretty good. And now I just want to change all of these to say 1, two, three, basically I'm just going to cycle through all of the months, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and then I'm just going to replace my value with the media. So now I could just double click, copy, paste, paste. And this is basically just positioning the X coordinates around the chart. So I'm going to go ahead and I could drag that to, uh, actually, let's go ahead and change the default aggregation to an average and go ahead and drag that to the columns because we know we're going to need it there. OK, so now let's look at how he built the Y. So uh, again, it looks like it's pretty similar, but let's just go ahead and copy and paste this again. And we'll create a calculated field and call it Y. And we'll go through the same process. This time, maybe I'll start with the median. Makes me feel a little bit faster. OK. And I'll do one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then again up here I need to do my date part. I want to do the month of my date. Okay, so that should work. 
And again, I can default this to an average and drag that to the Y. Now you see I just have a single point, that's okay. And what I want to do is I want to make these uh, lines and I want to go ahead and I want to drag, uh, I want to make this the month. And, oops, sorry, I want to right click and drag the date to the path shelf and do it at the continuous month level. Okay, so you can see we start to have the beginning of a spiral diagram. And then I could maybe go ahead and drag the median to the color. And maybe I'll change it to, I added a nice purple to yellow diverging palette. I can choose that. And, uh, and then maybe uh, let me go ahead and change my default number format for this. I want to make it one decimal. And I want my negatives. And then I like to go to custom and then just go ahead and put a plus there in the front. Okay, so now you can see it goes from minus one to one. Actually, maybe I'll go ahead and fix that one more time. Change my default color to purple, yellow, and just set the beginning to minus one, the end to one, and the center at zero. Okay, so that should fix it now. Let me drag that off and back on. Okay, and I think I just need to reset that. Okay, there we go. All right, but now the problem is, you see if I scroll down, I see January and July up here at the top. But really, I should have January starting at 12 o'clock, and then it should go around. So I need to clean this up just a little bit. So um, the first thing that I need to do is go back into my X calculation. And basically, I need, if you look at the coordinates here, uh, 12, 1, 2, and 3, should uh, all the way down to... 6 should be positives on the x, and then uh, 7 through 11 should be negatives on the x. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead in here and edit my x-axis. And for this, I want to go ahead and I want to say, um, what I want to say is I want to take the, because my I want to just go ahead and change this to an absolute value of the median times a half. And I think I'm going to just go ahead and repeat this everywhere. So let me just repeat that, repeat that, repeat that. And then there. Okay. And just go ahead and repeat this all the way down. That way, it, uh, you notice how 8 through 12 are all negative. And that's, uh, that's good to go. Okay. Uh, so that works pretty well. I think I've got that right. Hit OK. And now if I scroll down, you'll see all of these are Januarys. Well, I still have a couple Julys, but that's probably because I need to fix the Y as well. So let me go ahead and edit the Y. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go ahead and replace my median with the absolute of the median. I'm, doing, I'm making this an absolute so that I can control where it plots on the x or the y as far as a positive or negative value. So uh, this one is going to be the first four are going to be positive on the, on the, uh, the y-axis. Uh, and then hours 5, 6, 7, and 8 should all be negatives. Uh, 9 should be a negative. 10 should be 0. And that looks pretty good. Okay. So now I should see if I go out, if I look at my Januarys, if I just go ahead and scan all of those, we should probably only see Januarys as I go down. Do I see any Julys? No. Okay. So I'm good to go, and I've got February, March, and it goes all the way around. Perfect. But now I want to make it look more like the original. So I want to have this kind of donut in the middle. So to fix that, I'm just going to create a pretty simple calculation. So I'm going to go ahead and create another calculated field. And I'm just going to call it my median offset. And in this case, I'm just going to do, take the median. I'm just going to add one and a half to it. And basically, that's going to force everything that's in the middle to spread out. And hit OK. And now I need to go back into my x and my y and update median with median offset. Right, and this is where it's useful to just double click and paste. And hit OK. And now if I do the same thing in my, oops, I'm sorry, in my Y, we should see it start to build out nice and neat. Oops. 
hit OK. And there we go. Now we have something that's very, very similar to the original. So that works, uh, that works pretty well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the dots on for the months so you can see where they come all out. Maybe shrink the size a hair. Uh, you know, maybe make them a little bit thinner. Something like that. And then from here, it's a matter of formatting. So I'm going to right click and format my sheet. I'm going to go ahead and change the shading to black. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my row dividers, get rid of my column dividers, get rid of my grid lines and my zero lines. And on my X, I'm going to untick the include in tooltip and then hide the show header. And then the same thing for my Y. Uncheck the show header, uncheck the include in tooltip. So now you can see it says uh, it has the month and the median. So maybe um, let me go ahead and format again. I'm going to switch it to my favorite font, which is Avenir, for both the tooltip and the worksheet. And now I'll just go ahead and clean up my tooltip. So I might want to do something like maybe I want the month to be nice and big. And, uh, and then maybe I'll say medium temperature change from 1961 to 1990 average. Something like that. And now you can see, uh, you see the, the, uh, the cooler temperatures are in the middle and the higher temperatures are on the outside. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So this is, um, let's just call this our radar colored by temp. And then you can easily just duplicate this sheet. And the original one actually has, if we go back to the original, you'll see uh, he actually has it color coded by the year. So I can do that pretty easily. So again, I just duplicated the sheet. Uh, this time I want to go ahead, I'm going to leave that on path. Uh, I'm going to switch my median to just the detail shelf. And what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and take the, I'm going to right click and drag year to the color. And let's just make it continuous. And you'll see how it breaks up the visualization. So that's not really quite what I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and make it an attribute. And then let's make it continuous again. Let's see if that fixes it. OK, there we go. Um, and then I can go ahead and uh, actually, this is coloring by month. So that's not quite what I wanted. I want it to be by year. OK, there we go. OK, so I think what I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new calculated field. I'm just going to call this uh, color year. And it's just going to be the left of the year and four. And then make that an int. OK. And it's down here in measures. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag it to the color shelf. And there we go. So I can now format this field to be a number with no decimals and no commas. And then go ahead and switch this to my yellow, purple to yellow palette, similar to the original. Oops, looks like Tableau messed up the things there. OK, so now you can see it's much more like the original. If I flip back over now, you see that, well, the color, I don't use the exact same color palette, but um, you can see the older years are in the middle. The yellow years are toward the outside. So um, really, really useful. Um, I could, if I wanted to, I could, uh, let me just drag this up here and put that on pages. And let's see what happens here if I go ahead and play it. So I'm going to do all. Um, I need to go ahead and switch my mark type to a circle. And then I want to go ahead and show my trails and my dots. All right, so now I don't want to fade them out. And let's see what happens as we start to scroll through this. So let's go ahead and make it fast and play. And you can see that the uh, we can build something very, very similar to the original visualization. So um, anyway, I hope you found that useful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop that now and remove that from the color. Switch this back to a line, and then put this back on the path. OK, there we go. So this is radar chart by year. And what I would do is probably throw this on a, um, on a dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and put my radar, maybe, but uh, this one on here, this is our one color by, uh, by um, temperature by color. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Probably make it a little bit thinner so it's, oops, wrong direction. So it's a little more square. 
maybe something like that. Okay, so we can look at the sheet size, 631 by 635, that's probably good enough. Go ahead and format my dashboard and make it black and then make my title white. Okay, it looks like I probably need to just go ahead and manually pick my title here. Okay, so you could do something like that for the radar chart by month and then duplicate it and put your radar chart by year in here and then remove the other one. Okay, and then hide that. And now we have, um, actually I probably should go ahead and show my color shelf. So let me uh, legend this color. And then I'll just go ahead and untick the title and go ahead and float this. And I could just maybe stick it right up here in the corner. Probably should do the same thing over here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and show the legend and show the, uh, go ahead and float it. This time I'm gonna leave the title on because I think it, you kind of need it in this case. And there we go. So that's how you build a radar chart in Tableau. And I hope you found that helpful. Have a good day.